The primary aim of the engagement was to provide an overview of the Grid Hydrogen Project and delve into the socio-economic development SEED framework. This framework outlines how Namibians can benefit from various opportunities that will arise from this project. We, un we anticipate significant job creation across various sectors, ranging from construction to operations and maintenance. So this project, somebody yesterday in, in Karaspar was saying, oh, but uh, the construction phase only started probably in 2026. That time I'm gone. If Jesus decides you should go home and raise others that are remaining, will benefit. So for these two years, and it will, it will come through, through the presentation, these two years is actually for you and me to prepare ourselves. The government is working closely with Hyphen and Ministry of Education, all these institutions, the UNAMS, the NAS, they are already in one room the NTA, the NQA, to revise curriculum to look at how we can get our Namibian child ready for this project. So, of course, and this is our, this is what we want to do as I think, to ensure that Namibians um, are accommodated, hence the launching of the SED framework that on, not only speak, speaks to employment, but to skills development of Namibian individuals on this project. Attendees also made their input. I will urge Hyphen to look at it right now. 2026 is two, three years from now. The students that are graduating at NAST, at UNAM, IUM, that has got ICT skills that they are studying, uh, engineering skills that they are studying, all the things that are needed to take the students on board right now as interns to shadow the development. I want to really request from the governor office and the constituency that we develop uh, or advocate the company to help uh, deliver policies that are intended to benefit uh, Namibians. Because in most cases, we have the ideas, but what is challenging is, is finance. And if not, the policies are not uh, advantaging, uh, obviously the opportunity will be taken up by people abroad. A similar information session was held at Karasberg and Varambad. Lukman Kluter, NBC News, Orange Moon.